And now, a cooking lesson from our dear friend, Yadira Korea. Yum! Hi, I'm Yadi. And I have never done this before. So the recipe is really simple. It calls for pitted dates, uh, half a cup of that, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla pinch of salt, and an entire can of coconut cream. Uh, side note, the coconut cream is supposed to be frozen um, or in, set in the fridge so the fat could separate, and I didn't do that. So we are experimenting with it. Um, I'm sure you can use w whatever brands you have. Um, the most important would be this Vitamix that I'm grateful that my roommate has. Um, this recipe is found online and I'll put it up somewhere and um, it calls for a food processor but you are going to need something of the sort in order to make it. All right, well here's a fun fact. I am now doing this in my room because my kitchen is really noisy. Oops. All right guys, we're going to blend. <laughs> Okay, so I blended, I put in all the things, and now it looks like this. It doesn't look very caramely. It was darker in the picture. This always happens with the first time. It never comes out the way, I swear to God. Anyways, so I'm gonna now start messing around with it. I want some color. So I'm gonna maybe put in a couple more dates and I might go heat this up on the in the oven on the oven and see how that works. I went into the kitchen and I heated it up and this is what I got. It's a little thicker, it's a little darker, reminds me of dulce de leche. So not bad, it tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste like a lot like coconut to me. Um, I did throw some salt in it. Um, so I guess now this is salted caramel. And um, this was my first time making this vegan salted caramel with dates and this is gonna go on a first time ever chocolate cheesecake that is also vegan and also sweetened with dates i'm on a quest to bring my aunt something delicious and sweet but she's got diabetes so it can't kill her so i'm trying to make something that tastes good and doesn't kill her all right thanks that's it for right now